people are upset over the Final Theodore remake. They're actually doing a boycott of the Final Theodore remake. Why? Because they, because I don't understand why Japanese companies do this all the time. They all have, again, this is not as bad as it was like games like Tomahashi Wife where they remove entire things from the game, you know, from the Western version of the game, you know, or, you know, it isn't as bad as it used to be. But with all the games, they're changing the translation of the games. Okay. It was obvious in Pikmin 2. Like, I didn't really give a crap. The game is still going to play the same. But they're upset that they changed the dialogues in it. So basically, it changed it from smelly lunatics to smelly losers like you. Okay. I firefighters call them losers. I... <laughs> Yeah, and also what a bunch of runes they changed it to bozos. Which again, I think it's simply because they changed the translation of the game. Kind of like a Pikmin 2. And these people are upset over it. Even like the talking heads, which is the fandom menace. The people that they probably admire the most. These people admire the most. Okay. Like, these people had a mass. They had a massive uproar. That they removed unrealistic tumor-like hips from the female characters. Okay. Like they were that upset over this. Or they started a whole controversy over Stellar Blade. Okay. Because they added a bra to Eve's outfit. Which was pretty funny. Okay. Like they, these people were upset. That you know. And again. The word rune is actually. Rune is actually a type of bird. They changed the word lunatic to losers. I find that pretty funny. Okay. Yeah. But basically, the, the, they are still... These games are translated from Japanese. And... These people do not understand this. Of course, they're going to get different translations. You know, or translation errors. And the original games. And they might want to make it more like the original Japanese game. Okay. Why the F on Nintendo such pieces of set? Can't they just enjoy the original writing without dumbing down it? I always thought they could trip with the timings of the god if the game wasn't already too easy. Um, Fazio Door is not an easy game. I don't know why they think Fazio Door is an easy game. If you're good, if you, of course, if you played the game a while, the game becomes easy because you're familiar with the gameplay style of the game. But Fazio Door is, at, at least in the later areas of the game, is pretty hard because some of the enemies do a lot of damage in later areas of the game. Okay, the beginning of the game is relatively easy, but that's the game gradually gets harder over time as well. But these people are, of course, whining over nothing. Okay, they're upset. They, they also were upset over the Pikmin, two, Pikmin ones. But again, Pikmin isn't a major franchise, so the fandom mayors did not bat an eye about it. Obviously, you know, they didn't bat an eye, but they're claiming that this is because of ESG. Like, the fandom mass is really claiming that they changed the dialogue because of ESG. Okay, that they changed the dialogue to please ESG and please the, you know, you know, okay, I don't, okay, we're not going to get into that stuff, but to please the ESG masters, you know, because they claim that, you know, Japan's being ruined and changed and being less, you know, they're upset that, you know, the Japan's becoming a less sexual, you know, Japanese media is becoming less sexual to make, you know, Western censors happy, which, you know, isn't too surprising that they are doing that for at least, the, you know, but they're upset that they're not ha they don't have, you know, hu you know, huge boobed 13 year olds anymore. Because we all know why they want, why they want that. We all know why. They, it's because they watch... You know, yeah, we, we, you don't want to get into that. But yeah, it is funny that these people are whining over this. And Nintendo's not going to give a crap. This game's going to probably sell a lot, okay? And they did the same thing with Pikmin 2. And these people also whined about that. And then it just disappeared. But it's just so funny that these people are threatening to start a boycott against Fousing Your Door. Because they changed the text of the game. It really shows you how weak and sensitive these people are. That they're gonna boycott a game because they changed the text of the game. These are all these people are also probably pirate the game day one, but they won't pay for the games. No, that's too hard for them. And that's about this video here. Goodbye.